Hey folks, Ray from DCVMaker.com. Today I, here I've got the Casio Pro Trek Smart. Uh, model number is a WSD F20. This is an Android Wear watch that come out following last year's Android Wear watch. This one though builds on that and has GPS into it. Uh, so it's definitely a ruggedized Android Wear watch. For example, you see it's 50 meter waterproof, everything including the buttons. Um, the outer case is a, a rubber material. Basically, the, this here is a hard plastic. The buttons themselves are stainless steel. And it's running Android Wear 2.0. Um, now this unit is completely in demo mode, so it's a bit tricky to see all the features, but uh, we can kind of walk through that real quick, some of the basics there. Um, we've got the time itself, and we go into the stock Android Wear, um, basically Android, or sorry, app loader, so you can see this, the standard apps that you'd normally expect. Um, one of the apps down at the bottom there, one of the Casio apps, is the tool app, and then at the top we've also got the activity app. So if we dive into that activity app there, we've got the different modes basically for capturing activity. Uh, so I can go ahead and swipe to the right or left there. That's fishing, the other one's hiking or cycling, uh, skiing. And then I can go into that there and you can, these are all kind of stock screens. So none of this is, is technically real, but uh, it's still kind of cool to be able to do that. I'm gonna go back into the, get back there in a second. Swipe right, there we go. Back into activity and show you the hiking screen. Um, so now you can see some of the different data fields that you have there. And there's the map itself, and, and again, on this screen I can't actually zoom in and out, but uh, still it's pretty cool. Um, there's these quick buttons. Next I'm going to talk about what Casio calls the tool. Um, it's literally just simply called tool. So if I go and uh, go right here into the menus down at the very bottom, um, you'll see tool there. It, so this is leveraging a bare magic altimeter right there. I can swipe through some of the other pages that are related to this. And then we've got here, for example, um, at sunset and sunrise. Uh, so this is kind of like your stock um, and default information you might want on a typical ABC watch. Uh, so altimeter, barometer, compass. For example, there's the compass. I go right and left there. And I believe that's the last page. Yep, and I'm back to the altimeter itself. Um, on the left-hand side here, we have the sensors. Uh, for the Redmond Scott Timeter, we have a charging port there. The charging port is a little bit rough. It's not, not all that awesome. Uh, it falls off pretty quickly, easily. Uh, and I think I go back, back here to get back to the main page. Let me see if I can get there. there we go. And back to this. And again, hit the button again uh, to go through, again, all the stock Android functions, Android Wear functions. So uh, most of these have not been set up in this demo mode on this watch right here. Uh, this is run, running Android Wear 2.0. And it's something that you know Casio's really kept this locked down pretty pretty tight and pressed to Google. One cool thing that you better do though with this watch is to leverage the Casio action cameras. Uh, so you can see these cameras here. You'll actually better maintain a Bluetooth connection from this watch uh, to that camera, and then go ahead and see what's on it. And you can kind of see this over here in this little case display thing, um, and you can see that's what the view will look like. So that could be pretty darn cool. Obviously, we don't really know how it's going to work in, in real life, uh, but that looks that certainly looks pretty cool. The one downside on this though is that there is no optical heart rate sensor on the bottom and it can't even connect directly um, with the heart rate strap either from this uh, in the hike app anyways uh, to your like a Bluetooth smart heart rate strap uh, isn't able to do that. It can connect to the phone though so if you have a phone with you your heart rate strap connects to the phone, the phone connects to the watch and, and so on but that's really a lot and that's going to burn through the battery quite a bit. Speaking of that battery, uh, the unit can go into monochromatic mode which is pretty darn cool so no other watch can really do that exactly. And it looks roughly like this. Again, in the demo mode, I can't really show you that. Uh, but what the way it works is it'll go ahead and drop in this mode and then it gets a month of battery life. Uh, compared to otherwise, the unit gets 12 hours. And that's something that uh, they only really started announcing today. Uh, the last three days at CES, they've been very cagey on that, but they're saying 12 hours now in GPS mode, uh, which is definitely, uh, it's, it's good. It's not great compared to, you know, like the Phoenix 3 or the uh, Sunto Ambit series or the 4 V800, um, but it's certainly good for a Android Wear watch. It's actually one of the best Android Wear watches for battery out there. Uh, last but not least, this thing will release in mid-April, uh, mid-late April actually, price of 500 bucks, uh, and it, it should be pretty interesting to see how this goes. I mean, there's definitely some, some good stuff on it. At the same time, it is a little bit clunky, uh, and it's definitely not the smoothest appearance, but uh, you know, to each their own, as long as people like it, then it, that's all that really matters. With that, thanks for watching. Go ahead and whack that like button down below, as well as the subscribe button to stay tuned for all the latest sports technology goodness. Have a good one.